you know, this has to be the most requested training session that I'm asked to do across this country, which is really how to close the biggest deal of your life. And I want you to imagine for a moment as we're getting, making sure we got everything tuned in, that you right now make a decision that you're going to close the biggest deal of your life. And I want you to imagine what that looks like right now. Does that mean that you already have some opportunity already in the pipeline? And if you close just that one opportunity in your really pipeline, that becomes the, the biggest, biggest deal, deal of, your, of life. your life. What do you think for that for a moment? And what would that look like? What would that feel like if you were just able to do that just alone? That's right. Close the biggest deal of your life. And in fact, if you were able to do that, what would even be the habits that you would have to have right now? I was having a conversation with someone about two weeks ago, and, and I raised just this one point that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over on this session today. And I said, look, if you were to close the biggest deal of your life, what type of person would you have to become? And first, what would the ideal client even look like that would be in that category that you could even close the biggest deal of your life? Like, like, like really, like, is there is an opportunity now? Would you have to go back and change your habits? And if you were to change your habits, which habits would you literally have to change in order to really do it? Like, like, like really. And this morning, this evening, this afternoon, whatever time it is for you, wherever you are in the world, that's the conversation we're going to have. We're going to talk about the habits and then we're going to talk about the closing techniques that are necessary in today's market in order to do the things you want to do. And I, I've been falling and teaching folks now for, um, I don't know, about 15 years. And when this topic comes up, when the conversation comes up, I always come back to one thing. Number one, what are your habits? And this is something I want you to jot down in your notes. And this is very important. And put this in your notes as we get ready to get started. You're here early. So this is like one of the bonuses. And here it is. Put this in your notes. People form habits and habits form futures. Jot that down in your notes. People form habits and habits form futures. So think right now, what are the habits that you need just to close the biggest deal of your life? And I don't know what that looks like for you, but here's what I do know. As you're watching, I do know that it's possible. And if you follow along with me on this particular session, my promise is that we're going to get you there. So here's what the topic we're going to be covering. We're going to be covering really seven-figure sales habits for successful entrepreneurs. What are the things you need to do right now in order to get there? And as I like to start off every single time, I like to let folks know that it's a great day. And no matter where you are, no matter what's going on in the world, it's a great day for you right now because today is your day. Today is the day you put a, draw a line in the sand and you literally make a U-turn towards everything you were doing and you really focus your energy on serving first. So we're going to provide service and then sell. We're going to provide service and then sell. So it's a great day just because you're in this conversation. And here's something that I want you to know, Jacqueline. Here's something I want you to know, Karen. Michael, this is for you. You can have sales without being salesy. Everyone jot that down in your notes. You can have sales without being salesy. And some folks think that in order really to achieve the results you want, that you've got to come across as a salesperson or you got to come across like you're trying to convince someone to do something. And that's not the case at all. That's by far not the case. What you have to do, which we'll get into today, is you have to have certain habits and you have to provide a solution. You've got to solve a problem. One of the things that I've shared, and I'm gonna to continue to share this probably at least 100,000 times before I leave this planet, and it's so true, is that great things happen when you solve problems. Put that in your notes. Great things happen when you solve problems. So if you think about closing your biggest deal ever, you think about getting your sales up and going, you, you think about being able to get the resources necessary to execute the vision you have for the people you were called to serve, then you have to make sure that you are at least solving a problem. Again, put this in your notes. This is so important. 
Margaret, I don't want you to miss this, is that people will pay you today if you help them solve a problem today. We're in a problem solving business. And for those folks that are out there that are watching, do me a favor, hit the watch party button, hit the share button right now. And when you hit the share button, write these words, I solve problems. Hashtag, it's my time. Just put, I solve problems. Because we know that great things happen when you solve problems. The biggest challenge facing sales superstars today, the biggest challenge is I've seen this holding us back that has really kind of stopped us from progressing at the pace that we want to, isn't that we don't have a big heart. And it's not that we don't believe. The biggest challenge facing us today is lost leads. It's talking to unqualified folks and not being in front of the right folks at the right time, delivering the right message. So really today, I really have two outcomes for those folks that are just tuning in. Uh, my name is Shay Brown and better known as the happy entrepreneur. And my number one goal today is to really teach you, to really show you, to really walk you through step by step exactly what you need to do in order to close the deal. And I really have two outcomes for our time today. I have two outcomes. My number out, number one outcome is just to provide value, um, to make sure that you walk away with one idea that's going to help you to immediately close sales. And that's my number one outcome. And I promise you, if you tune in, I promise you as you follow along that you will get at least one idea that you can use in your business going to help you. And then my second outcome, my second outcome in our time together, my second outcome is really for you to be able to apply these skills immediately. Some of you will have calls tomorrow. Some of you will be in meetings tomorrow and you'll be able to use these very skills that I'm referring to right now. And as we get started, I wanna, I wanna share first the 4S formula because for some of you, this is exactly what you're looking for, the 4S formula. And the 4S formula is something that I've lived by and it's, a, it's my personal value system and the methodology that, that we've used to help our clients, to help our clients' clients, and also to help us in the business and sustained us for the last 15 years. So it's one of the things that does work. If you're hearing it for the very first time, go ahead and jot this down in your notes, the 4S formula. But first, let me give you a principle. And this is a principle of success. Jot this in your notes, please. And if you're taking notes, write this right below the video. Someone put this right below the video. Systems beat goals every time. Systems beat goals every time. Now, I'm going to break that thing down. I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going I'm to share with you why it's so important. But if you think about it, everything that we're teaching you, everything that you're doing is a systematic approach because goals are always in the future. And what you're doing every single day is you're implementing a system, you're implementing a routine that you're able to do over and over and over again in order to achieve your goals. So systems beat goals every single time. So let me walk you through the 4S formula. And the 4S formula is something that we've created and that we've used. And here it is. You can put it in your notes. S plus S plus S equals S. Put that in your notes right now. Don't miss that. S plus S plus S equals S. So Shay, can you, can you break that thing down? Can you share it for me? Absolutely be happy to do that. It's called the 4S formula. And the 4S formula really stands for systems, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute, plus a strategy, plus sales equals a successful CEO. Let me say that again so that you have it, so that you make sure you have that. And if you didn't, put this down in your notes because this is gonna help you. I'm gonna go over the 4S formula first. Systems, plus strategy, plus sales equals a successful CEO. Now, when people see that, the first question that comes to mind, the first question to ask is, Shay, obviously, what is your definition of a system? Shay, what is your definition of a strategy? Shay, what is your definition of sales? And, and more importantly, what is a successful CEO? So let me walk you through that. Let me break it down for you so that you have that in your notes. First, what is a system? I want you to jot this in your notes, and this is very important. This is the first S. A system is a detail, is a set of detailed methods, procedures, and routines created to carry out a specific activity, perform a duty, or solve a problem. So systems at the end of the day are duplicatable. 
Systems are repeatable. Uh, systems are the fastest way to success. Systems at the end of the day, really systems is something that you can hand off to your team so that your team can do something in lieu of you. So when I start off with saying that systems plus a strategy plus sales equals a successful CEO, I want to first make sure you understand what is a system and you understand that system is repeatable, systems are duplicatable. So that leads you to the next S. What is a strategy? Because systems plus a strategy. A strategy is a clear roadmap consisting of a set of guiding principles or rules. It's the how to. It really defines the actions that people take in a business or should take and the things they should prioritize. So while we have a system to, to really operate what we're doing, we have a system to kind of make sure that it's repeatable. We have a system that's duplicatable and you now understand that we must have a strategy and the strategy in the formula is the how to's that you actually use to implement the system. Now I'm going over the 4S formula right now. I'm going over the 4S formula. S plus S equals S. And I said the systems plus strategy plus sales equals a successful CEO. And then I broke it down so you understand the systems are duplicatable, systems are repeatable, systems are something you can have other people do the work, and systems are the fastest way to success. Everything that you do in your life, I believe, is a set of systems that are working together. If you have a marriage, there's systems you have in place to have a successful marriage. If you are an athlete, um, I'm a marathon runner. I've run five marathons. I enjoy running. There's a system for me to prepare to run a marathon or even just to go running. There's shoes that I need. There's a watch that I have to wear. There's certain things that have to happen. So now you understand what a system is. I said, well, what's the strategy? The strategy is the how to that you're using to implement the system. So I'm talking to someone the other day and they're in the exact same place they were last year. I'm having a conversation. I said, look, we talked several times last year. No big deal. My question to you, have you implemented any systems in your business right now to take you to where you need to go to? Income about exactly where it was one year ago. Same type of trials. They said, no, she have not implemented a system. So I said, I'm not surprised that you're where you are because systems beat goals every single time. So you have these goals, but you haven't taken time to really implement any of the systems, whether it's lead generation systems, closing systems. Um, um, it could be um, um, appointment setting systems. So systems beat goals every single time. We're going over the 4S formula as we get started. And this is something of success that we've used. And this person, I'm thinking if your income is the same, then you might want to make a change. You can't keep blaming the economy. You can't keep blaming I don't have the money. At some point, you've got to slow down and you've got to focus on the one area that we know with 100% certainty will make a difference. And we know sales will solve any business problem. So I'm going to talk about how to close today. And some of you are going to get your closing script done. Some of you are going to improve your habits so that you have closing type of clients in your pipeline that you could close the biggest deal of your life in the next 90 days. And others have to prepare for 90 days for the next 90 days to be able to close someone depending on your business. But I'm going to talk about systems. What's up, Elaine? What's up, Kathy? What's up, Sakoni? What's up, Margaret? What's up, Karen? Hey, Jacob, thanks for joining. So I said systems be goals every single time. And then I gave you the 4S formula. For those that didn't write it down, please make sure you write it down now. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. S plus S plus S equals S. I'm going to go over the, the habits of successful people. I'm going to do all that, but I want you to have this. Now, the 4S formula, systems plus strategy plus sales. I went over systems. I went over strategy. About to go over sales, and then I'm going to go over the habits that you need. I said a system is duplicatable. A system is repeatable. A system is the fastest way to success. A system is something you can hand off to someone else so that they do the work. So it makes it so you are duplicatable. Systems, systems, everything in your business is a set of systems coming together. And I just want to be part of your sales systems. I want to be part of your marketing systems. I want to be part of your automation systems. If you hang out there with me, we're going to make sure that you don't have to work as hard. You're going to hand this off. And then we talked about, obviously, what's up, Kathy? We talked about what is a strategy and the strategy is the how. Now let's talk about what is sales. Because at the end of the day, 
selling will solve any business problem. At the end of the day, selling will solve any business problem. At the end of the day, all roads in business lead to a professional sales presentation. So what is sales? It's a source that provides the revenue to purchase the resources necessary to execute the vision you have for the people you were called to serve. So it covers your vision. That takes resources, which is revenue, how you live, how you eat, your vision for those you love, send them to a college of their choice, paying for health care insurance and a vision for the people you were called to serve. So imagine I'm talking to this person. I told you earlier, they're at the same place they were last year. I've had at least four conversations with them and they they're good people. They're not bad people. And and, and we're sitting back and, and I asked them, I said, look, you've been hanging out. Or we've had several conversations and I've only asked you to do one thing. I said, look, if nothing else, understand the 4S formula for success that I've used as my own signature methodology. And I said, only understand the systems beat goals every time. So when I talk to you next time, let me know what your prospecting system is. What is your marketing system for low high-end clients? What is your marketing system to your existing clients? What system have you implemented? If you don't have money for no system, which one have you implemented? I got to get into, because I made a promise that I'm going to teach some real cool stuff tonight. So I got to get to that. But but I, I just had to go over the 4S formula because I know some of you are waiting saying, Shay, give us the seven-figure sales habits for successful people. Talk to us and tell us about how do they close these deals? What are the habits they have? I'm going to get there. But also, I want you to know that you can have sales without being salesy. This is so important. And great things really do happen when you solve a problem. People will pay today when you help them solve a problem. Okay, I'm going to move forward. I I got caught up because I I got caught up teaching the system because I love this part. So let me just go ahead and get through this. S plus S plus S equals S. If I ever see in the future, say, Shay, I'm implementing the 4S formula. Systems, I'm focusing on systems in my life and systems in my business. Strategy and sales. We're talking about closing systems on this particular session tonight equals a successful CEO. So what is a system? Repeatable actions. Got it, Shay. What is a strategy? It's the how-to. We we use the evergreen revenue model. Got it, Shay. What is sales? Without sales, Shay, there is no revenue in my business. Without revenue, there is no resources. Without resources, I can't do what I need to do. So this person, where they were last year, exact same place. And I went right back to the 4S formula. Now, they didn't take a step with me. They're probably watching now. I'm not going to mention your name, I promise. And it's okay. You don't have to work with me. But I told them, I said, work with someone, at least an organization. You can hire our agency and we'll do the sales for you. But if not, learn these skills. Because when you learn these skills, they'll do something for you. So Shay, what is a successful CEO? I get that question asked all the time. I want to answer that before we get going. A successful CEO is a person with more cash flow. That sound like you? More profits. You spend less than you make. Sound like you? And freedom to spend the time with the ones they love the most and to do what they want to do when they want to do it. So while it's true that Shay Brown is known as the happy entrepreneur. That's one of our brands. While that's true, you can be a happy entrepreneur and you can be broke. You can be a happy entrepreneur and not have any money in the bank. You can be a happy entrepreneur and, and, and still feel good every single day when you wake up. Nothing wrong with that. But when you decide to run an enterprise, when you decide to be a successful CEO, then you must have more cash flow. Show that to them. You must have more money coming in than going out. That's profits. Please show that to them. And then third, you must have freedom because now you didn't create a job for yourself. You pass this on to someone else. Someone holler at your boy. Here's what I want you to do. Everyone look right below the video, right below the video. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to write down this affirmation. Someone type these words down right below the video, right? I am a successful CEO. Systems be goals every single time. Just put I am a hashtag successful CEO. I should put a hashtag there. I am a hashtag successful CEO. Write that right below the video. And I'm going to go back for everyone who wrote that. I'm going to do something special for it. And I want you over the next seven days to write this down as your affirmation that you're going to be and you are a successful CEO. I'm going to go over closing stuff in just a second. But you understand that a successful CEO has more cash flow. You get that. 
They have more profits. You understand that. And they have freedom to spend time with the ones they want. You need cash flow or you need profits. Then you need to tune in. The conversation we're about to have is for you. If you want to be a successful CEO, we do some of these sessions that help you get results in your life because we believe the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. And then we do other sessions that are focused on money in your bank account. So this is one of those sessions where we're focused on money that's in your bank account because you are a successful CEO. You will have more cash flow. You will bring in money because you will solve problems using a system to do that without your labor. Holla, holla at your boy if you're a successful CEO. And you will have more cash coming in than going out because if you can't sell, you spend more money than you bring in. And that's not good. And, 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 and you will have freedom. You're not going to work as many hours. We ain't going to work all these hours. We're taking some vacations. We're going to have some fun. Come on now. We're going to do some things. So now you got the daily affirmation. I am a successful CEO. When someone like Natasha writes that down, or someone like Sanaa writes that down, or someone like Kathy puts right below the video, I am a successful CEO, go over and hit the like button. Go over and hit the heart button. Tell them, yes, you are. Look, I don't care if we touch one life. We're going to encourage someone right now in the present moment. Yeah, you're going to get some ching ching. I got some stuff to share with you. But right now, I just want to slow down and talk to everybody that wants to be a successful CEO. This is not a hobby. This is not a game. We are going to change some lives together. We're going to change some businesses together. And we are going to make a difference. And a dollar at the same time. <laughs> I'll let your boy. It's so true. We could do that. And these are really principles when you think about it. We're talking about principles of success principles of life, principles of business, because principles are ways of successfully dealing with reality. We buy into these principles so we can get what we want out of life. And isn't that so true? Isn't that where you are right now? Isn't that what you're feeling? Isn't that like deep down in your heart and your soul? You know, for some of you, when we get to it, we're going to be talking about how to close. I'm going to go over a closing script and I'm going to ask you all to write your closing script and I'm going to Share the successful habits in just a moment. I think it's coming up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh we're going we to we we give some bad habits first. Okay, okay. And then we're going to give some good habits. Okay, got it. So I'm going to go through those pretty quickly. Uh, some of you want the notes. Some of you just want the 4S formula. You want the slides. And I, and I did a, a five to seven minute video on the 4S formula. And I'm going to give it to you one more time. And if you want that, and you also want to write your closing script, I'm going to go back as soon as I go over these habits then I want to do something for you. So let me, let, me, let me give it to you one more time and then we're done. One more time. It's called the 4S formula. Now I'm going to send you these slides to the whole presentation, but the 4S formula is my methodology for success. First, we have a principle. I told you principles guide us. Principles guide us to deal with reality today to get what we want. So my principle is systems be goals every single time. Someone write that right below the video. Systems be goals every single time. I'm saying it one more time because I want to I drill this in your head. I want you to know this. Systems be goals every single time. Then the 4S formula. S plus S plus S equals S. If you ever work for me, this is all I want you to know in the beginning. We're going to do everything through a system. Then... We talked about what, it, what is the formula. We revealed it. Systems plus strategy plus sales equals a successful CEO. Got it, Shay. So we're going to be talking about closing systems today. But what is a system? A system is repeatable. A system is duplicatable. A system is something that's the fastest way to success. A system is something you can give to someone else so they do the work. So your labor is never, ever, 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 never, ever, never, ever involved. Don't be like the client that I talked to today. They had the same revenue last year, the same challenges last year, and the same story last year. And they work hard. They're into personal professional development. And it's been two years of grinding, and they haven't got there yet. And they didn't take a step with me. It's okay. But I'll ask them the same question. What systems have you implemented? What sequences do you have in place? They said, she haven't had time to do it. I said, well, okay, no worries. Not nothing personal. What is the strategy? We use the evergreen revenue model. The strategy is the how to. So how are you going to get the biggest client of your life? How are you going to fill your sales pipeline? How are you going to have qualified people ready to go? We're going to talk about that. And then last, what is sales? The number one reason most companies go out of business is due to lack of sales. 
We know that selling will solve any problem. We know that all roads and business lead to a sales conversation. All your marketing, all your social media leads to here. All of your Facebook ads lead to a sales conversation. All of your networking leads to a sales conversation. All the money you're spending on these conference calls and, and, and summits and, com and conferences, intensives and mastermind, they lead to a sales conversation. So with a sales, sales provides you the resources necessary to execute the what? Yeah, the vision you have for the people you are called to serve. I know you got a vision for yourself. I checked that. You got a vision for that. I got that. I got that. And, and now, what is a successful CEO? Not the happy entrepreneur. You can be happy and broke. You can be happy and not have any clients. You can be happy and just be fine, fine, fine. Everything is fine. Doesn't mean you're not going to make any mistakes, but you can believe that. But it's not about what you believe tonight or this morning, this afternoon. It's not about what you think. It's not about what's in your heart. It's not about your purpose. No purpose and passion here, baby. This is running a successful enterprise. And to run a successful enterprise, a person with more cash flow is a successful CEO. A, a person with more profits, that means they spend less than they make, is a successful CEO. Uh, a, a person who has more freedom to spend time with the ones they love the most and do what they want to do is a successful CEO. Why? Because they're guided by principles. And they understand this one idea. If you didn't write this down earlier, write this right below the video. I am a successful CEO. Why? Because you understand the systems be goals every single time. Write that down. I am a successful CEO. Why? Because I understand the systems be goals every single time. I am a what? Successful CEO. Why? Because systems be goals every single time. And you are implementing a system because you are a successful CEO. You're not walking in your place. Ain't, ain't no passion here. Ain't no purpose here. Ain't no big why. Ain't no crying. No kumbaya. Ain't no I believe. Ain't no I'm feeling good. This is all about running an enterprise as a successful CEO. It's not about being a happy entrepreneur or a girl CEO or this or that or, or a grinding entrepreneur or, or whatever they call it, a faithpreneur or a mamapreneur or a dadpreneur. This is all about being a successful CEO. Now, I don't mean to get like this. this is, I didn't mean to get caught up. I got a little excited here because some folks are struggling right now because they don't know the 4S formula. So a person with more cash flow, successful CEO, more profit, successful CEO, sales, more freedom, sales. So we're going to talk about that. I got to get going. I got going. I got caught on a I got caught on a tangent this evening, but I'm I got to get off my horse. You all are all successful CEOs. I believe every single one of you, Anna, Clayton, Kathy, Carol, Mike, James, all of you, I believe it. So let's now get to what we're going to talk about this evening. I'm talking about really the number one subject that people struggle with is how to close. And I want you to imagine for a moment what it would mean to you if you close your biggest deal right now. What it would mean to you if you had a, a pipeline. That means you have qualified buyers who have an interest, want, or desire. They're in your sales CRM, customer relationship management system, or in your sales database. They, they qualify. You, they're, they're ready. And, and inside of there, every month is an opportunity to have your biggest deal of your life sitting in there. For some of you, you don't need the biggest deal of your life. You just need more consistent revenue, consistent, predictable, reliable revenue. Jot that down in your notes. Consistent, predictable, reliable revenue. Put that in your notes if that's you. Consistent, predictable, reliable revenue. If that's you, put that in your notes right now. So that's what we're going to talk about. So I'm going to first talk about some of the bad habits that have been holding people back. And then, and then after I do that very quickly, I want to talk about what it would take. Because over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be focused on really on closing. And I want you to make a commitment. I want you to make a commitment. You're going to write down your close word for word right now. And here's what I know. I know for many of you, this is out of your comfort zone. I also know for many of you, you've never done an exercise like this before in your life. But when I get to the bad habits and I'm going to get to the good habits, the bad habits is most folks don't understand there is a pre-close and then there's a close and then there's a final, final close. So they don't even understand the stages of it. And, and so they go into a, a conversation and when it feels good and they got to ask for the order, something changes. Now I'm going to give you some words to use in a minute, 
but something changes. And, and they have no idea of the 4S formula. So they're not thinking what you're thinking. They have no idea about systems, closing systems, plus a strategy, closing strategy, plus sales equals a successful CEO. They have no idea on S plus S plus S equals S. They don't have any idea, so they wing it. And when they get to the close, something changes in their voice rate. Have you ever been sold to and found that to be true? Something changes in their physiology. Something changes in their body, in, in their tonality. And you feel like they're about to close you. I was with a client this weekend and we were in Atlanta and the person said, I hope I'm not going to feel like y'all about to close me. And we never did. We had a conversation. We talked about next steps and she felt very comfortable. It's because we knew exactly what system we were going to use and how we were going to do it. So if you're committed to writing down your clothes word for word, you're committed to having someone like myself show you how to do that. Even if you don't know how to do it, I'm going to tell you right now how to do that. Even before I get to the bad habits, if that's you, you're like, you know what, Shay? I am a successful CEO. And I understand that systems be goals every single time. And I don't have a closing system as I'm listening to you right now. I have no idea. I know what to say. I don't mind asking for the order, but I really don't have a system so that I understand there's a pre-close and then a close and then a final close and that those are the segments in there. And I don't know what language pattern I'm using or stories I'm weaving in because every client is different and I would say they are. But here's what I want you to put in your notes. People perform in predictable ways. So we can still have a systematic way we can do that so we can hand it to someone else so they can do it because systems be goals every single time. And if you're a successful CEO and you're like, see, I need that. And I understand what a successful CEO is, a person with more cash flow, more profits and freedom, then I'm ready for that. OK, before I go over the 10 bad habits and give you the 10 good habits and the closing formula, let me just do something for some folks out there right now. Oops, well, that's not it. So some folks that are out there right now, I'm a Kobe Bryant fanatic. For some folks that are out there right now, you're like, Shay, this is speaking to me and I want to do this. I'm going to do something special for every single one of you. And here's what I'm going to do. I think they're going to put it up there. It should be putting it up there right now. And I want you to text the word sales makeover. And the reason I want you to text the word sales makeover is I want to help you with your closing script review. I'm going to tell you how to do it in a second because you're going to pre-record what you say for your close. We're going to have a conversation. I'm going to ask you some questions and then I'm going to help you write your closing script so you can hand it off to someone else. That's my promise to you. There's no cost. There's no credit card. There's no check needed. There is an action needed. And as you got to text in the word sales makeover so we can understand exactly what you're doing. And here's what you, here's how you do that. This is from all my successful CEOs. Now, as you're thinking about doing that and you're saying, Shay, this is a lot. I get it. But you want to be a successful CEO. You want a system way to close right now. And you're probably thinking of the movie Karate Kid is what comes to mind with me. It's the only movie that's, that's popping in my head right now. And if you ever seen the movie Karate Kid, it's kind of like uh, his, his teacher is trying to teach him how to do something. And the scene that you might remember is like wax on, wax off. So he puts wax all on this old car and then he has to take the wax off. So it's wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. And he doesn't want to do that because he doesn't see the value in doing what he's doing. Just like for some of you right now, you might be thinking, Shay, I need to text in. I get it. But I don't have a closing script. What I do is so unique and so different, just like he did. He thought that wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. But I'm going to ask you to trust me as your sales coach. I know what I'm doing. And I know that many of you will receive a breakthrough by doing this exercise. Also, for many of you, it's outside your comfort zone. So it's a little uncomfortable, but it's within your grasp. Here's what you do. Text the word sales makeover to this number right now, 202-270-1662. Now, when you do that, include your first name, include your last name, include your mobile number and your best email so I can send something to you before we meet. Now, what are you going to receive? You're going to receive no cost, no credit card, no cash app needed. Closing review of your script. So we're going to say exactly how to do it. Some of you don't even have a closing script. You're winging it. And I want to help you. Then you're going to get the notes. Some of you want the notes. And if you get the 4S formula, you'll be happy. And then others of you, you want a customized revenue momentum session. Where you are right now, we're a couple of months into this year right now. And you want this to be your best year. You want to close your best, largest deal ever. 
in order to do that over the next 90 days, you're ready to sprint. And I believe in a 12 week year, even if you never read that book, the 12 week year, I believe in that. And I do believe this, jot this in your notes, anybody can do anything for a short period of time. So the universe rewards people who take action differently than those that don't. So just like in the wax on, wax off, he didn't see the value. But when he got into that ring, like some of you are going to have sales conversations. When he got into that ring, some of you are training your team. This is train to trainer content. And there is no closing script, by the way. Some of you don't even have the context of it. And that's not a bad thing. You just haven't been in this conversation. When he got into that ring and he found himself with his leg broken, he could be right there and he could wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. And all those skills came together. And for one of you out there, two of you out there, three of you, my goal is that 100 people complete this exercise over the next 30 days for free. It's my big give back. I'm on a mission to create a successful CEO, more cash flow, more profits, and at the end of the day, more freedom. So text 202-270-1662, do it right now. Include your first name, include your last name, include your best contact number, which is your mobile number, and your best email. And when you do that, I'm gonna respond. When you do that, that's my gift to you. We're gonna get that done for you. No cost to you. Okay, I'm excited. First, let me, let me kind of share some of the bad habits that I've seen over the last 15 years that have just been holding people back. And it's been a challenge, Edith. It's been a challenge, Mary. What's up, Jane? It's been a challenge. And one of the bad habits holding people back, and this might be where you are, and I hope if that's you, you did text in for the revenue session, but this might be where you are right now, where you're at a place where you just don't have enough qualified leads. And one of the biggest challenge facing entrepreneurs today is spending time with unqualified people. If that's you doing our revenue momentum session, I'm going to help you generate some qualified leads. You can join one of our other training sessions that we do. But stop chasing unqualified buyers who can't or won't buy from you. I was talking to someone and they said, Shay, I need you to help me. I've, I've nurtured this group of 172 people and, and I know that there's some breakthrough clients in there and it's going to happen for me soon. And I said, well, maybe it is. But qualified means they have an interest, want or desire now. And if they don't, let's put them into a nurturing sequence. That's a system. Now the sales funnel, let's put them into a, a sequence that can help them later. They said, oh my gosh, yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. So yeah, I said, uh, one of the bad habits most of my clients have is they're dealing with people who are just unqualified. The, the second bad habit is they've been prospecting. They understand that lead generation is the lifeblood of their business. Yet when we go look at their schedule and we sit down and we work with them, they haven't taken time to do what's called block schedule time just for prospecting. And when I found myself in this position, I had to slow down many times. Sometimes you got to slow down to speed up. And I want you to jot this in your notes. We're going to get into the closing fancy stuff. But for some of you, you just need more qualified prospects. And you'll get your biggest deal of your life. Put this in your notes, please, Christine. Put this in your notes, Eddie. Don't miss this. And here it is. Leads represent hope. Leads represent hope. No leads, no hope. You want to earn $20,000 this year or this month? You want your team to earn an extra, bring an extra $100,000 this month, but there isn't any leads because there weren't any qualified prospects? Then there's no hope. It's probably not going to happen. You can believe all day long, but if you believe with no prospects, it's not going to help. So I got to help you do that. Um, they're wasting time on constantly checking email. Uh, I'm going to suggest that many of you just, Put the email to the side. Seriously, check it once or twice in the morning. Uh, set a time, block maybe 15 minutes. Get off email and go prospect. Go do something else. Go work towards something that's really going to help you right now in your business that's more relevant. Because you think about it, leads aren't in prospects. The lead isn't there. The, 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 the qualified prospect is not waiting for you there. What's another bad habit that they have right now? Well, they're not practicing their scaling, selling skills. They're not working on their scripts. They're just winging it or shoot from the hip or shoot from the lip or trying to be continuously, spontaneously brilliant. And as a result of not doing that, then guess what? They're not spending time doing the things that they know they need to do 
when they need to do it. And this has caused them some trouble. The next one is relying on land in a big sale. Um, this has, has caught so many of my clients off guard. I was talking to someone just this month. Well, I guess it's a new month now, but last month. And they were, their, their biggest sale is like $5,000. And um, they're in the, in the consulting business. And so they're like, you know, if I, if I get this sale, say, for five grand this month, I'm good. And, and I thought to myself, one of the things that holds people back is just trying to go after the big deal. There's nothing wrong with the big deal, but leads represent hope. And so if you fish in the pond, you only are limited to the pond. But if we go to the ocean, it takes us to another area. And I want you to think for a moment. What is your number one lead generation idea? What is your number one prospecting system that you're using right now? If the answer is I don't know, then I'm glad you're here. The, 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 the bad, other bad habit is holding folks back is getting tied down with excessive administrative tasks. I had to, and I'm not talking about folks, they're really good folks, but I had to fight tooth and nail with someone and say, look, you're doing something that's a $5 task. And they knew it intellectually. And, and, and the task was really going into LinkedIn and using LinkedIn in order to generate leads. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a perfectly way to do it. But sitting there trolling all day long, doing searches through LinkedIn and sending one-to-one -one messages and so forth, you could go get a $5 person and pay that person $5. Remember we talked about earlier, systems be goals every single, show that to them. Systems be goals every single time. Systems be goals every single time. So they didn't have a system for prospecting. And so they found themselves doing it. And as a result of doing that, they found themselves in a position doing administrative tasks. I'm gonna share something that my mentor taught me that's gonna help you. And I was doing the same thing. I was spending so much time on, on, on tasks that really didn't matter. And one of the things he said was this, and you can jot this down in your notes. This, this is going to help you. He said, Shay, first things first, second things never. What? I'm going to repeat it again. Because some of you, this, you know, I always say one good idea implemented is better than a thousand ideas you know right now. You only need one idea. One idea good idea implemented is better than a thousand ideas you know right now. And so they're spending time on administrative tasks. My mentor comes to me and says, first things first, second things never. And so I told this person the same thing. And I said, why don't you tan it off, put $25 to the side, ask the person to, to, to do two and a half hours of prospecting on Monday, two and a half hours of prospecting on Tuesday, not a whole lot of money spent, even if it's $5 an hour, less than 25 bucks. And then you spend Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday putting them in your nurturing system. Remember, systems be goals every single time. The number one request I asked for all of you was to write down your closing script. The number one thing I ask for all of you right now is to, is to fix your closing script and your lead generation script. The next bad habit that's kind of holding folks back is just not asking enough questions. And this is not a questions conversation. We'll get into that later. For those folks that are out there, we'll get into that later. Um, not to not on this particular session, but that's that's a problem. The, I'm giving you ten bad habits, and I'm getting to the good habits. Uh, the bad, another bad habit is selling exclusively on price. Some buy on price, most buy on value. People will pay you today if you help them solve a problem today. We're in the problem solving business. Don't worry about the price. It's not about lowering the price. I'm gonna tell you how to close, whether it's a high price or low price. And this is a myth that was taught to me. And I'm gonna tell you, it took me 15 years to get over this. It took me 15 years to learn something different. It took me 15 years to get by this. Sales is a numbers game. 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 You know what? Sales is not a numbers game, okay? I mean, mathematically, it, it just isn't. Here's what I want you to put in your notes. Quality counts. Quality counts. If I give you a million leads and a million leads don't have an interest, want, or desire, and I ran as many Facebook ads and, as I wanted to, and I'm talking to these million people, and they don't have a problem that they're trying to solve today, it doesn't matter how many times I ask them 
how long I talk to them, the law of averages will not be in my favor because you have a distinction. You have a distinction that systems be goals every single time. So understanding that, we're looking at quality, not the number. Very important. That was an aha moment for me. That was a breakthrough for me. And if you're right where you were and things haven't changed for you, and it's been like that for a long time right now, then I want you to really do me a favor. I want you to focus like you never focus right now. So I'm about to go into what you need to do, but I want you to see some of the bad habits that folks have drifted into. And here is the number one bad habit, if I get a good one, the number one. And think about that. If you think about all the habits you have right now, and you understand what I mentioned earlier, it's a principle of success that people form habits and habits form futures. The reason I'm glad you're in this conversation, not that I teach systems be goals every single time, although that's my, my number one distinction. My number two distinction is you need to stay in this conversation. This type of conversation around sales, around success, around systems, around strategy to generate sales, to give you the revenue to purchase the resources. And so the number one habit here, this is short term right now, I want to play around. The number one habit, what do you think it is? Seriously, like, what do you think it is? Social media? That's not it. <laughs> it's not it, though, by the way. It's not it. It's short to him. Here it is. Seriously. In all seriousness, let's, let's stop playing. The number one habit. Bad sales habit. It's failure to recognize bad sales habits. <laughs> they don't know what they don't know. So, so prior to you showing up, prior to you being in this conversation, you didn't even know you had bad habits. You didn't even, I gave you 10 and any one of those 10 can throw the balance of your equilibrium off. And as a result, it prohibits you from being a successful CEO. It prohibits you from closing. I talked about leads represent hope. No leads, no hope. I told you sales is not a numbers game. It's not. It's quality that counts. I told you your number one job every day is to show up and find people with a problem. That's, that's your number one job. When you get up every single day tomorrow, look at your calendar. You should have one goal and one goal only on your calendar. There should only be one system that's running tomorrow. And that system is finding someone with a problem. Put all your money and resources there. Now, what is your number two goal? Your number two goal? Your number two goal. Let me tell you your number two goal real quick. The number two goal. Da -da -da -da. Getting in front of people who have a problem that you can solve. Now, I'm going to get into closing strategies. There's appointment setting strategies. There's objection handling techniques. There's having the right sequence and automation tools. All that's true. But if we go back for a moment, just a, a two minute recap. Now I got to get into you the 10 goals that you need to close. And you think about the 4S formula. And you say, well, Shay, you keep talking about the 4S formula. It's your methodology. And you said that systems be goals every single time. So I'm looking, Shay, I don't have a lead generation system. Shay, I don't even have a, an appointment setting system. In fact, I don't want to talk to people if they're not qualified. That's a waste of my time. Gotcha. Shay, I don't have a closing system, although you're about to introduce that. I don't have that. And, and I don't have automation tools running. So if systems beat goals every single time, I've set a lot of goals and I got this revenue goal. I have this big why. I'm feeling good about myself because it got me motivated and inspired and excited. But I have no systems in place. So I work 24 hours a day. I have no systems in place. So my I don't have a sales team. I don't have any systems in place. So I don't have my marketing attracting the right people who have a want need our desire. Shay, systems be goals. If you're out there right now, hit the share button. I'm about to go into some good stuff on how to close. Hit the watch party button and just write these words, systems be goals every single time. Hashtag, let's go. Just put systems be goals every single time. Hashtag, let's go. Because it could be systems in your business, could be systems in your life, could be systems in your finances. But everything in business it all runs on a system. There are multiple systems coming together because tactics woven together, which is systems woven together, equal your strategy. And so when I did that real quick, I did that. I said, you know what? There's the 4S formula. S plus S plus S equals S. And I said, well, systems plus a strategy plus sales equals a successful CEO. I've said it and said it and said it. I said systems are duplicatable. 
Systems are repeatable. Systems are with your hand to your team. Systems are the fastest way to success. You need multiple systems in your business in order for you to get to where you want to get to. You need it everything in life. But business is just a collection of systems working together. You need a strategy. We use the evergreen revenue model. That is the how you're going to make it happen, which I'm about to go over. So I'm going to go over pretty quickly in the closing part, but I wanted to lay the foundation because I'm hearing this over and over and over and over and over again in, in my conversations and my meetings. My sales team comes back. We have our meeting. They tell me the exact same thing. Shay, they don't have a CRM. Shay, they don't have a, a sales funnel. Shay, they don't have a marketing sequence in place. Shay, it's not there. We can do it for them. I say, I agree. Let's give them the strategy. So what is sales? All roads in business lead to professional sales presentation. Selling can solve any business problem. You need to hire more people, make more sales. You need to hire that coach, make more sales. You need to bring on a consulting firm, make more sales. You need a new website, make more sales. You need to purchase a building, make more sales. You need to lease more space, upgrade your equipment. You know what I'm about to say make more sales because sales provides you the revenue necessary to purchase the resources to do the things you want to do no revenue no resources and so now you're not going to be a happy ceo i mean a happy entrepreneur no i move from a happy entrepreneur to a successful ceo Think about that. i gotta go to some closing stuff a successful ceo is a person that has more cash flow that's you say that's me they want more profits. If you want more profits, say, that's me. And if you want the freedom to spend time with the ones you love the most and do what you want to do when you want to do it, say, that's me. And if you're saying that's me right now and you're listening, saying, Shay, I'm with you all the way. I'm feeling you. Then go ahead and write this right below the video. If you did it before, do it again. I am a successful CEO. Hashtag systems be goals every single time. I am a successful CEO. I have more cash flow. I have more profits and I got freedom. I'm not a grindpreneur. I'm not an all night preneur. I'm not a mompreneur. I'm not a, 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 a faithpreneur. I'm not a, a dadpreneur. I am a successful CEO. I'm not even a happypreneur. I'm running an enterprise. I've got systems in place. This is my time. This is my year. You know what? I'm stepping up and if it's not a system, I only want to be a part of it. And this, this principle, Shay, resonates with me. Shay, it resonates with me. This principle, these values you're sharing resonates with me right now because principles are ways of successfully dealing with reality to get what you want out of life. You hold on to that principle. I am a successful CEO. You hold on to that principle. The systems be goals every single time. I got to get to the good stuff. I, I'm on a rant. I'm on a rant. I got to stop this rant. I've got to stop it. But I, I can't help it because I'm feeling like you're so close. You're, you're there. And the only thing holding you back right now, the only thing that's holding you back right now is that you got to have the right system in place. And if you get that, which I'm going to give you the closing system, you get that. And that's, that's really all you need. You get that and life's going to be so good for you. You get that and you know what? It makes a huge difference for me. So let me talk through the seven figure sales habits that entrepreneurs are using to close the biggest deal of their life. Let me just walk you through that quickly. And, and, I, and I asked you earlier to, to, to set a goal that you're going to write your closing script word for word. You're going to understand the closing structure pre-close, then there's a close, and then there's the final, final close when you're closing the deal. And you're going to understand that sequence and the nuances for your industry and what goes into it. And, and, and I agree right now for every single one of you who take, who take action, to text the word sales makeover right now, that I'm going to help you write your closing script. I'm going to review what you're doing today, but we're going to write your closing script word for word. You get the notes in a one-on-one -on -one customized revenue momentum session. Here's what you need to do. I'm gonna encourage you to do it right now. Just take action. The universe rewards people who take action differently than those that don't. And how many ideas do you need to change your life? One. 
one good idea implemented is worth is better than a thousand ideas you have right now. My promise to you, when you show up for the meeting, it'll be a good use of your time. My promise is you'll walk away with one idea that you can use immediately in your business on your very next presentation. My promise to you is that you will understand how to write your own closing script for you and your team. So text the word sales makeover, open up your browser right now to your phone, open it up, and then type in 202, do it now, we'll give you a minute to do that. No, 202-270-1662. Now after you type that in, go down to the message section and type the word sales makeover. It's time to take a look at your business. Time to energize the one area that's a game changer for your business, that, that fuels your ideas, that fuels your purpose. I always say, let your, I heard someone say, let your profits fuel your passion. Yeah, you can do that. Profits fuel your passion and your purpose. Yeah. And then go ahead and put down your first name so we know who you are. Put your last name now so we know who you are. Put your mobile number so we can contact you, your best email so I can send you everything. And then once you do that, then someone from my office will contact you immediately within by, within 24 hours. Whether you're listening live right now or you're on Roku right now or on your Apple TV or you listen to the podcast, some of you listen on the conference call, some of you this is being syndicated out on, some of you are watching me live right now, some of you are seeing the replay, um, go ahead and text the word sales makeover to 202-270-1662. And then uh, put your first name, your last name, your mobile number, and your best email. Put that in there right now. And then someone from my office will follow him. I'm looking forward to talking with him. Looking forward to connecting with you. We're not, we're not, we're nowhere near done because now I gotta, now you know the bad habits. Now I gotta tell you the good habits. And here's the seven figure sales habits for entrepreneurs that are out there every single day. And it's my belief that your number one goal when you wake up every single day, every single day you wake up, you got one goal. You've got one mission. You've got one responsibility. And that is to find people with a problem. I said it before. Some of you heard me say it 10,000 times. I'm not going to stop saying it. Is that people will pay you today if you help them solve a problem today. We're in the problem solving business. So I'll go get up every day and find someone with a problem. And then our number two job is to talk to them through a video, talk to them face to face, talk to them through a phone call, talk to them through our team, talk to them through LinkedIn, talk to them through Facebook, talk to them through a podcast, talk to them through a webinar, talk to them through a conference call, talk to them through a sales page where they go to and they learn all about the problems. That's our number one responsibility every single time so that takes me to habit number two and i gotta ask you the question do you allot a specific amount of time for prospecting every single day which means every single week this is called scheduled block time i want you to put this in your account scheduled block time so i want you to look at your calendar right now because i believe your results over the next 30 days will be in direct proportion to the number of appointments you set and you run. And so in order to have an appointment for you or your team, you've got to have some prospects who are qualified. And if you didn't set time to do the prospecting, then the prospects aren't going to be there. So the next best habit that we have, if you haven't put that down as a habit, put that down as a habit right now. I want that to be one of your number one habits. Number two is ask great questions. And for those folks that texted in early, I'm going to go through a whole seminar on asking powerful questions, the different type of questions to ask, questions for referrals, questions for the close, questions to move people forward. But I want you to jot this down in your notes because I want to make sure you're asking the right questions on your presentation because I was working with someone recently and they're struggling with qualifying, but the reason they're struggling with qualifying is inside of their presentation, they didn't have qualifying questions that were powerful. Yeah, they asked them if they wanted to buy. They asked them if they had the budget to do it. They asked them some of the basic questions, but those basic questions were only getting them so far and it would never ever get them to where they wanted to get to in order to get to that next level. So what powerful questions are you asking in your presentation? One of them might be, 
what's most important to you about dot, dot, dot. Another one might be if you were to work with our company, what's one of the reasons you would do it? I don't have time to get into all of those questions right now, but I want you to know that that's a success habit. Great sales habit number three is listening skills. We're going to talk. I mean, listen more than we talk. You might know that intellectually. You might get that intuitively. That might be something you know. But here's the question I got for you. How can you improve your, your listening skills? It's not about me. This, this conversation right now is not about me. This is not even a beat me up session. This is not about me. This is about me sharing 15 years of being in the field with my sleeves rolled up. I'm in the trenches. I've talked to so many of you out there personally myself. I still talk to folks at least two or three times a day. I do it because I love doing it. I mean, this fuels me. This is this is my purpose. This is my passion to help entrepreneurs create that breakthrough so they can be a successful CEO. And so how can you improve on a scale of one to 10? If you say, Shay, one mean I don't do a good job listening. 10 mean I'm the world's greatest person at doing it. This is called baseline strategy. Your baseline is everything you're doing today to produce the results you're producing a day on a monthly basis. That's called baseline strategy. So we had a baseline in the area of prospecting, let's just say Edith, and, and in that area of prospecting on a scale of one to 10, one mean I don't do a good job, Shay, and 10 mean I'm the world's greatest person at doing it, what level are you? If you said you are a five, then the only question is, how do you go to a six? And if you go to a six and you raise your baseline up, how much extra revenue is that for you? So when I ask you about listening skills and how can you improve, I know you're listening. I know you're not going talking all the time. I know that. But that's not the question I ask. The question I want to know is how can you get better? Successful people have, we all, we all hold one common belief. There's one common belief amongst all successful people. And that, that belief is they can always get better. They can always get better. So you know that all roles in business lead to a professional sales presentation. You already know that, right? I say that every conversation, all roads in business lead to one place, all your marketing, all your Facebook ads, all your social media, all your money you're spending on coaching, mastermind sessions, all the digital products you're doing, all the cool stuff you're doing with your website. It all leads to professional sales presentation. So it only makes sense as we get to the next one, which I think is number four, is how effective is your presentation? Remember, it's not about how well do you speak. It's not about how or what you do. The only question I have for you is how can you improve your sales presentations to ensure the client is focused on you throughout the entire time? Now, I didn't say this is going to be easy, but I said it's going to be possible. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be possible. All this may not apply to you, but some of it may do. Great ha sales habit number five, persistence persistence now i know that that life is a series of being on track and off track i've been there myself so many times the persistence is the ability to continue to to move forward and, and not slow down not become discouraged and do less today than you did yesterday now i'm not gonna get into a conversation about my favorite player who's no longer here, and I used to love his concept called Mamba Mentality. But the Mamba Mentality says, how can I be better today, in so many words, than I was yesterday? And how can I give 100% of the best effort I can under the circumstances? So when I say persistent, how persistent have you been in your prospecting? How persistent have you been in implementing your new systems in your business? How persistent have you been? And, 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 and I want you to think about some of the folks that said, call you back. I want you to think about some of the folks that say, let's touch base later. I want you to think about for a moment, how many attempts do you make before you just say enough is enough is enough. And, and, and my, my hope, my prayer is that you keep on going. You say, Shay, they don't have to buy the day. But I understand, Shay, that life is a series of high highs and a series of low lows. And some days you're winning and some days you're losing. And some, th some days things go right and some days things go wrong. And that's called life. So someone today may not be interested, but it could tomorrow. Here's something that I like to share to you. I want to share it to you. I want you to have this in your notes. 
is that you can make the same offer every 90 days. Let me say this again. You can make the same offer every 90 days, the exact same offer. Someone says, I'm not interested. No problem. Maybe call back in six months if that feels good to you. I always say, whatever feels comfortable to you. But I want you to be persistent. I want you to go after it. I want you to keep on going no matter what. Great sales habit number six. You want to close more deals? Bring more qualified leads. Ask for referrals. Ask for referrals. Referrals beat a cold call every time, a cold lead every time. Now, when I when I talk to folks and I ask the question, what's your number one lead generation system? Most folks say, Shay, I run my business on referrals. And referrals is not a system. If you had a goal for 20 thousand dollars or a goal for a million dollars in revenue let's say that's your goal for the year that's top line revenue it's possible that referrals can get you to a million dollars year one and maybe referrals get you to a million dollars year two if you're lucky but for most folks it's not like that because referrals is not really a system you can ask for it that's a system you asking is a system and i found when i really talk to folks say how often how many times you ask this month for a referral the answer is not enough how many did you ask for referrals last week people don't even have to work with you to ask for referrals i always say they don't have to do business with you who who came up with this rule they've got to do business with you and once they're satisfied i ask for referrals every single day many of you hit the share button for me that's a referral some of you hit the watch party button that's a referral and i so appreciate you some of you put comments right below the video that's a referral i'm so appreciative why when you say we're doing a good job when you make a comment on a note someone reads that and that's like a verification that this is some good stuff so if everyone made comments thank you so much i so much appreciate it all the ones on podcast reviews thank you thank you even those who say i talk too much <laughs> talk too long thank you someone says thank you anyway i appreciate every single one of them so back to you asking for referrals so here's the question very important question how can you develop asking for referrals into a habit how can you make it a systematic way that you ask for referrals Shay, give me a principle because i'm sensing i need a system can i give you a system because some of you know systems be goals every single time and here's the system that i want you to know a principle i believe in principles principles govern how i live principles are foundational principles transcend time and here it is everyone you meet is either a prospect or a source of referrals let me say that again everyone you meet is either a prospect or a source of referrals let me say that one more time everyone you meet is either a prospect or a source of referrals. So when the question is asked, how can I ask for referrals? And how can I improve that habit? My reply is, when you meet someone, if they're not a prospect, even if they don't do business with you, then they may have your customer inside of their network. That's called a POI, a person of influence. We taught that on, a, on another episode. I don't have time to get into that right now. But, and so if, when you have that mindset, you're always asking this one question. We talked about powerful questions earlier. And here's the question that we could ask is, who do you know that is a blank? And so now they are a source of referrals. Sales habit number eight is just a follow-up. And I, I want you to just think, Shay, I always follow up when someone tells me to call them back. I believe you. Shay, I always email someone and say, email me. I believe you. But that's not the question. The question is, what is your follow-up system that you have to follow up with everyone that's in your database, everyone you come in contact with? Because you, you're not calling everybody. You're not emailing everybody. You're not texting everybody. There's got to be a systematic way to do it. And so when you're following up, we know that it's up to you and your team. I work with someone and their team is tracking everything through a database and they've outgrown the CRM system. And I don't want to mention what the CRM system is because it doesn't really matter. They've outgrown it because it doesn't have sophisticated sequences in there that can do the automatic emails, the automatic text messages, the automatic videos, the automatic touch points that they need to do 
in the way it needs to happen. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. Don't, don't, don't leave me, don't leave me. So what follow up system can you develop right now? It's all on you. It's not on me. We're talking about the evergreen sales habits. And I believe that there's successful habits that you employ on a daily basis. I believe that people form habits and habits form futures. Let me say that again. People form habits and habits form futures. Let me say that one more time. People form habits and habits form futures. And so for some of you, it's really about developing your, your sales habits. Yes, it's about closing. And we will be with your closing script. I, I, I made a commitment to do that. But some of you have to have the habit to hunt for new business. Some of you have to have the habit of time lab, leverage. Some of you need the, the habit of just sales planning. Some of you need the habit of just being able to reach in the sales zone and stay in that energy zone when you or your team is selling. And I always say that if you don't want to sell, the best thing you can do is hire someone that does. Let me say it again. If you don't want to sell, if you don't want to learn all this, if you don't want to be the one doing all this, you don't have to. You can hire a team to do it for you. I'm going to get into the closing tips. I'm going to get into that. Some of you, we made a commitment earlier. We said, yep, we're going to write your closing script. Some of you just want to step back. You're looking at your revenue where you are now. You're looking at your goals. And I made an agreement for everyone right now, everyone under the sound of my voice, whether you did it earlier, do it again. I want you to text the word sales makeover. If it's time for you to generate more revenue in your business so you can have all the resources you need, hire people, text the word sales makeover. If it's time for you to have a sales team that sells for you, your own virtual sales team, to work for you while you do other things in your business, text the word sales makeover right now. If it's just time for you to improve your selling habits, text the word sales makeover. If it's just time for you to teach this, this is train the trainer content. You need to take this content and teach this to someone else. Text the word sales makeover to this number 202. Do it now. Do it now. Do it. Don't pick up your phone. Open up the messenger, go right there and type in 202, right at the top part, 270-1662. Now, once you do that, once you do that, enter your first name, I'm requiring that. Enter your last name, I'm requiring that. Enter your best contact number, I'm requiring that. And then enter your phone, your email, I'm requiring that. And then let's take a look at writing your closing. Let's do a closing script review. Some of you may have never had that done in your business ever. You don't even have one. That's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll just hear what you're saying today. You want the notes? No worries. And then you just want a one-on-one -on -one revenue session. It's time for you to put the pedal to the metal. This is your year. This is your time. Today is your January 1st and you are putting a, a, a fork in the ground right now and you're drawing a line in the sand and you're willing to sprint for the next 90 days. And I believe anyone can do anything for a short period of time. So just text the word sales makeover to 202-270-1662 and then follow the instructions because systems be goals every single time. And let's focus on that for you. Let's just do that for you in your business. Now, let me, let me tell you something. We're just getting kicked off. We're just getting started. I know you're saying, Shay, what's going on? We're just getting started. And I'm about to go and share in just a few minutes here exactly step-by-step step what you need to do as we come down the home stretch. But first, I'm going to take a break for less than two minutes. And so we'll be back in less than two minutes. And I'm going to share with you for those people that don't want to do the work yourself, you just want a sales team. We are the sales team you've been looking for. I want to, why don't you put me on your sales team? And I want to be the one doing all the prospecting for you. I want to be the sales team, your virtual sales team that's making the phone calls, that's sending the emails, that's sending the text messages. I want to be your, your, your sales team that's, that's really running the appointments for you and qualifying the people and 
For some of you, getting a credit card or getting a check or getting a contract. Yeah, let's let's show them that. We'll be, we'll be back in, in less than two minutes because we are the sales team that you've been looking for. We'll be right back. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. And if you're like a number of my clients right now where you are sick and tired of talking to unqualified people who don't wanna do business with you or you're tired of tracking down people and trying to convince them and persuade them to do business with you and you're just wasting your time or you're just totally frustrated and it's time for you to increase your sales, then we are the sales team that you've been looking for. You see, the number one challenge facing entrepreneurs today is either lost leads, that means they met someone, someone opted on their page, someone signed up on their webinar, uh, someone said they were interested, and no one could follow up with them, no one could track them down, and you had to do it all yourself. Or you spend a lot of time talking to someone, you spend a lot of time sending them information only to find out they were unqualified. You're like, I'm sick of talking to unqualified people. So if you don't want to sell, or you hate the sale because you want to do something else with your time, something else with your labor, like spend it with those that you love the most or doing something entirely different, then I want you to pay close attention. I want you to text this number because we're going to partner with you in two ways. First, we're going to look at doing a complete sales makeover for you, okay? That's number one. And then number two, we're going to set all the qualified appointments you need without your labor so you can make sure things get done and or and or we're gonna have a dedicated sales team to go out and actually make the sale get the credit card get the contract and bring it out we are the sales team that you've been looking for so it's just time for you to do a sales makeover it's time for you to look at your whole sales process and have a structure a system a sequence so you can be scalable and you can really generate those sales. Here's what I want you to do for your sales makeover. Text the word makeover. Do it right now. Open up your, your, your phone right now. Text the word makeover, one word, makeover to 202-999-3515. Let me get that to you again. Text the word makeover so you can look at your business to 202 202- 999-3515 and just follow the instructions. So all you gotta do is follow the instructions and let's make over your business. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And we're gonna make some good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless. And I'll see you on the other side. Well, it's a great day. We're back here going through the evergreen sales habits, which are which are very, very important, by the way. Um, very important for many of you because you've got to do it for yourself. It's important for others because you've got to train your team. One of the things I like about it is that we actually train our team on signature selling style, and that's a habit. We train them on buyers' profiles, and and that's a habit. And isn't that how life is? Just full of habits and things that we need to do on a on an ongoing basis. You know, when you, when, you, when you think about selling and closing, there's really three ways to elevate your sales results. There's the inner game of selling. And the inner game is really your mindset. It's really your belief systems. It's really your, your comfort zone. It's really how you deal with the fear of rejection. And every single day, as we go out there, we, we have to work. We have to do that. We have to be as focused as we possibly can. And I just want to acknowledge you for being here tonight. And I want to acknowledge you for, for watching. I want to acknowledge you for participating. Because what that says about you, it says that you know that you have the potential inside of you to perform at a higher level. It, it says that you, you know there's greatness inside you. It says you're ready for a breakthrough and you're in this conversation. And this is, this is the number one conversation that you can be in right now. So you're, you're on purpose. This is your time. This is your year. You're, you're, you're full steam ahead. You're, you're mentally in the game. You already have the right mindset or you wouldn't be here. Only winners are here. Only champions are here. Only the best of the best are here. So take your right hand if you're right-handed. And if you're left-handed, take your left hand. Just pat yourself on the back and just silently acknowledge yourself for the champion that you are, for the game changer you are, for being here and just being in this moment. And take a moment to step back and just breathe. Just breathe. Just breathe right now. And let the energy soak into you. 
because on a daily basis you're you're reaching out into the cell zone and when you get into that cell zone sometimes it hits you hard sometimes they curse you out sometimes they say they're not interested but 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 it's but it's okay it's it's okay because when you reach into that zone and you're there then you know you're employing one of the habits. You know you're making a difference. You know that you're working for someone else. You, you know that you're solving a problem. So all I'm asking you to do when we, when we meet is to step back and let's just do some sales planning. Uh, you plan your life. You, you plan your finances. You plan going to your gym. You plan your doctor's appointments. You plan sometimes your social media posts. You plan, you plan what you're going to do with your family. I just want to step back for those folks that tune in with me and, and I want to do some sales planning. I want, I want to plan how are you going to make the sales? I want, I want to build your systems that bring your network together and allow you to reach into other areas that you didn't even think was even possible. And isn't that what is true when I say systems be goals every single time? Isn't, isn't business just a, a, a series and a, a collection of all these different systems working towards a sales conversation? Yeah. So we want to have the best conversation we possibly can. Uh, for some of you, it's all about the personal branding and, and your brand and, and what it represents. But the one thing I do know is that when we wake up tomorrow or this morning or we get started this afternoon, whatever time you're, you're listening to and into me, wherever you are in the world, we know that it's going to be a hunt for new business. We know you're going to have to go out there and, and, and do it. We, we know you'll be talking to people and they're, they're going to have to be really making some tough decisions and do they work with you or do they work with someone else or do they do it now or do they do it later? It doesn't really matter, but we know some decisions are going to have to be made and, and you're going to be responsible for, for sharing the best way that you solve the problem for them and move them forward. But with so much on your plate and so much going on, it's, it's going to take you leveraging the time that you have. And every minute counts. Every conversation counts. Every email post counts. Every time you show up for one of these training, it counts. Everything counts. Someone look right below the video and write, everything counts. Everything counts. Everything counts. And you listening right now for the first time, the second time, the third time, this all counts. This all adds up. Even as you get better at the questions that you're going to ask, leading to the close, leading to the final, 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 final close. See, here's what I know. And here's what I believe. Good habits are the key to all success. Bad habits are the unlocked door to failure. I, I'm a big proponent of Ali Medino. He wrote the book, The Greatest Salesman in the World. And he said something about in that book that I, I thought was important and it's always held near and dear to me. But Al Medino said in that book, he said, look, I will form good habits and become their slave. You're forming the right habits. You are already amazing. You are already incredible. And I want to I want to thank you for taking time to tune in. I want to thank you for listening. For every one of you who made a comment, do me a favor. Look below the video as we close out. Look below the video and, and just write down good job. Or if, if I did a good job, say, Shay, great job. If you enjoy what you heard, just say, Shay, I enjoyed it. If not, hit the heart button, hit the like button, hit the watch party button, hit the share button, pay this message forward. But I want to thank you because whether you do it or not, you will be successful. Some of you, yeah, some of you did text in. So they many, many, many of you texted in, by the way. Um, and you did text the word sales makeover. And I, my, we're going to follow up with you. If you didn't do it earlier, if we come down to conclusion, I'm going to encourage you to do it now. And text the word sales makeover to this number, 202-270-1662. Again, 202-270-1662. And when you do that, we're going to help you with your closing script. We're going to look at your sales systems. We're going to look at your sales team or give you a virtual sales team or share one with you. And you're going to walk away with one idea that you can use in your business immediately, immediately, immediately when you get off the telephone call, off that revenue session, 
in your business. And how many ideas do you need to change your life? One. Do it now. Text sales makeover to 202 270 1662. Go ahead and do it right now. Put your first name so we know who you are. Put your last name because there might be more than one you out there. And put your best mobile number, your only mobile number, and your best email. And we're looking forward to having a conversation. We're looking forward to reaching out to you. We're looking forward to making this your best year ever. And if you listen to the replay or you got a whole of this long lost video for whatever reason, go ahead and text the word sales makeover. It's all on the honor system. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. I, I want to close with these comments. For everyone that texted, I'm looking forward to having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. I, I want to close with these comments here. Today is my January 1st. I want you to tell yourself that right now. Today is my January 1st. I'm back on track again. Today is my January 1st. Systems be goals every single time. Today is my January 1st. I'm going to build my sales team. Today is my January 1st. I'm going to hire a sales team. Today is my January 1st. I'm going to generate all the revenue that I need in my business right now because this is my year. And you know what? It doesn't matter if you got it right up before. It doesn't matter. What matters most is that you get started. And that's what January 1st is all about. It's, it's a do-over. It's a start. It's a fresh opportunity. It's a, it's a belief that your, that your past does not equal your future. And you have the capability of giving yourself a raise right now. And that has to feel good that you'll be giving yourself a raise. I mean, that has to feel good. If it's me, it's feeling mighty good. I'm like, you know what, Shay? I'm all in, Shay. Today, Shay, is my January 1st. Because systems, Shay, be goals every single time. I'm implementing the right systems in my business right now. I'm implementing the 4S formula, S plus S plus S equals S. I understand the systems plus a strategy plus sales equals a successful CEO. It's the 4S formula. It's Shea Brown's methodology for success that he teaches his clients. And I understand that systems are repeatable, systems are duplicatable, and systems are the fastest way to success because I can hand those off to my team, Shay. Got it. I understand that I need a strategy and the strategy is the evergreen revenue model. And I take that strategy and I hand it off to someone else. Got it, Shay. And I most importantly understand that I need sales. I need a source of revenue to execute this vision. I need revenue to purchase all the resources that I need. Without the revenue, shame, I will go out of business and, and sales will solve any business problem. I must focus on my sales. But I had to ask the question, Shay, what is a successful CEO? And a successful CEO is someone with more cash flow, more profits, and freedom to spend time with the ones they love the most and do what they want to do when they want to do it. And guess what? You are a successful CEO. So here's what I want you to tell yourself. I am a successful CEO. Systems be goals every single time. We're going to close out that way. Write that right below the video. I am a successful CEO. Systems be goals every single time. I am a successful CEO. Systems be goals every single time. I am a successful CEO. Systems be goals every single time. And today is my January 1st. I can do this thing. Today is my January 1st. I can make a difference in someone's life. Today is my January 1st. I can make a difference in someone's business. This is my year. This is my time. And you know what, Shay? I'm ready. And if that's you, Write those words. Today is my January 1st. I am a successful CEO. With that being said, for everyone that's tuning in, everyone that's joining, and those are joining for the very first time, uh, my name, by the way, is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you, from the bottom of my heart, we'll make some good things how we connect again next time. God bless, and I wish all of you success. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.
that made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Shay Brown. My check, my check. All I do is we win, we no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. Yes. Yeah. And they stay there. Thank you, thank you, Captain.